Hello everyone and welcome to the DBB Podcast. I'm your host Ryan Maudis. This is episode number 265 for November 8th, 2022. Welcome to the Disney Pins Blog Podcast. The latest news on Disney pin trading and collecting from around the world. Welcome back to the show everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. It is the November 2022 week two Disney pin news episode and uh, pin releases are still going strong at the parks. I don't have anything for housekeeping today, so we'll just get right into the pin news. First, we're gonna start off with Disney Employee Center. Last week, they had an Aladdin 30th anniversary pin release. Features five different pins. Characters include Genie, Aladdin, Jasmine, Raja, and Jafar. And those are a limited edition of 250 with the retail price of $29.95 each. And those are exclusive for Disney cast members. Next up is Mickey's of Glendale, and we have more cast member pin releases. It was the Epcot Poster Series number six. This is the sixth release of Epcot Poster Pins. And these ones feature Test Track, Horizons, Wonders of Life, Imagination, Living Seas, The Seas with Nemo and Friends, Turtle Talk, and Journey of Water. Those are limited edition of 250, retail price $49.95 each. Next up is Shop Disney. They had a new Star Wars Saga pin set. Features three different comic style pins. It's open edition with a retail price of $21.99 for those three pins. And I'm assuming this is going to be coming to the parks as well. And then a second release at Shop Disney was the 14th release in the Disney Designer Collection. And it's actually a uh, second Tiana pin. I'm not sure why they made an additional one, uh, but there already was a Tiana Princess and the Frog pin that released. That was actually the fifth release, and now it's the 14th release in this collection. It is limited release, retail price $34.99. Next up is Box Lunch, and they had a few new Christmas pin releases. First up were two holiday-themed fireplace pins. One features Beauty and the Beast. You got Lumiere with Mrs. Potts and Chip next to a Christmas-themed fireplace. And the second one features Cinderella. You have Gus and Jack the Mice, with the Cinderella slipper on the mantle, another holiday-themed fireplace. Both of those have a retail price of $12.90. And then one of the most popular pin releases of the week were the Christmas Ugly Sweater Pins at Box Lunch. There were two that released, and there's also an additional two coming, but they aren't online yet at the time of this recording. Uh, but the two that are up right now, one features The Little Mermaid. You got Ariel on the ugly sweater. And the second one features Pascal from Tangled. Both of those also have a retail price of $12.90. Next up is our sales at DPV Store. We had a few new Loungefly pin releases and also a new DPB exclusive pin release. First up, we have the Loungefly pins. We have another paper doll pin, this one featuring Mulan. It's where you can change out her outfits with a magnetic pin. You get four different outfits. Retail price is $25 for that pin set. And then there was an Aristocats Marie Mixed Emotions pin set. This is uh, similar to the Jack Skellington Mixed Emotions set that uh, we had at DVB Store. I think it's still available, actually. Uh, but you can change out the expressions of Marie's face. That is also $25. Then we had two new lanyards. First up is a 101 Dalmatians lanyard, which has a uh, Cruella PVC charm on it, and an inside-out control panel lanyard. Both of those have a retail price of $12. And then lastly, at DPB Store was our exclusive pin release last week. This one is called Dumbo Circus. Very colorful design. Has stars all around the border. You've got Dumbo at the center with his name above. And there's also little jewels and a few of the stars around the border. So it has a little bit of a texture to it. Limited edition of just 500. Retail price is $14. Again, all those are available right now at dpvstore.com. And then finally, we have Disney Parks in America. First, we're gonna start off with Walt Disney World. Florida caught up with California on the Pixar Holiday Nutcracker pins. Those previously released two weeks ago on October 25th at Disneyland, and now all of them are available in Florida. Same thing with the Marvel Brick logo pin. It's a limited release 3D style pin, also previously released on October 18th at Disneyland, now available in Florida. Then there was a brand new Figment Epcot Mini Jumbo pin. This one got a lot of attention on Instagram. Some people loved it, 
Others weren't too happy with the style of figment, but it is a uh, three inch pin, so a little bit bigger there. It's got a pin on pin design with glitter embellishments in the background. Limited edition of 2000, retail price is $44.99. Then there was a brand new vault collection pin for the Walt Disney World 50th anniversary. This one features an old school Magic Kingdom map and it has a pin on pin design, limited release, retail price $17.99. Then there's also the fourth and I believe final pin in the Walt Disney World annual pass holder series for 2022. This one features Cinderella Castle. Very nice, bright, beautiful design on this pin. Limited edition of 3000, retail price $19.99. Then we have the shared pin releases on both coasts, Disneyland and Walt Disney World. First, there were the Star Wars Her Universe pins. These previously released on October 4th, uh, about a month ago at Shop Disney, now they're available in the parks. Then next was the 14th release in the Floating Down Main Street USA collection. This one features Simba with Timon on the hot air balloon. Limited edition 4,000, retail price $19.99. Then there was a brand new pin featuring Alice in Wonderland. You got Alice and Dinah on a tree and below it reads, kindness is a gift, 2022. That's limited release, retail price $19.99, comes on a daisy themed backer card. And then lastly, on both coasts was a World of Wakanda Marvel pen. This is part of a Marvel artist series. It's a limited release, retail price $17.99. And again, all of those I mentioned are available on Tuesday, November 8th at Disney Parks. There was also two more that released at Disneyland. Uh, but they're not in Florida yet. At the time of this recording, I do not have the photos or the details, but I will have it up on the weekly pin post at DisneyPinsBulk.com very soon. It was a Zootopia character connection mystery pin set. Then there's also an Enchanted Anniversary Spinner pin, and I actually believe there was a third one for Treasure Planet. So all those photos and details will be up on the website soon. All right, so that's gonna do it for the pin news this week. Thank you guys very much for listening and watching, and hope you have a great rest of your week. See ya.